Hey everybody, this is Excel Mage coming with coming to you with Dispatch One. It's the first part of an ongoing series where I show you some cool tricks in Excel that I use for accounting. It makes me a super pro and super efficient. And hopefully, if you guys use this, it will save you a lot of time. So what I have over here is some bank transactions, some raw data, got some dates, vendors, amounts. You now it goes on for about a month, and um, we need to book all this stuff to a general ledger so we can put it in, into our accounting system. Uh, what I have down here is another tab called Table. Over Table, I have in column A, I have a vendor, and in column B, how I'm booking them to like, which general ledger that is. So we can see that Craigslist gets booked to recruitment, level 3 to phone, and Staples to office supplies. These are the relationships between vendors and general ledgers. So I'm going to go back to the transaction tab and I'm going to show you how to book it, book all these transactions really fast using a VLOOKUP. So it's equals VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP involves four arguments. The first one is what it's looking for. And in this case, it's the vendor. So it's comma to separate the four different arguments. The second argument is where it is looking for the information, which is on this table. So we go over to this table, we highlight A1 through B17. We have a common comma after it. What we're going to do is we're going to put in these dollar signs to keep the turn these cell references into constants. So when I drag the formula, they don't change. So I added I added the dollar signs. So in the third argument, we're adding the column number. Uh, this is where it's going to return its answer from. So since it's looking for Amazon, it needs to return an answer from the second column, which is professional development. So we use the number two. And the fourth argument is the match. Do we look for a true match or, I mean, an approximate match or an exact match? I prefer exact match. So I always go false. Do the close parentheses, hit enter. As you can see, inventory pops up for Balboa Chemicals. If we go over to the table, we go find Balboa Chemicals, then we see it's booked to inventory. So we can spread this general ledger down there, saving a huge amount of time. Look at the staples, it's booked to office supplies. We go to the table, we find staples, office supplies. It's right down there. We could even turn this into its own function. Uh, examples of function are VLOOKUP. They're you know equal equals sum. That's a that's one equals min. That's another function equals match max. Well, we could we could write our own functions in Excel. So I'll show you how to do that right now and do the replicate the exact same thing in uh, with a custom function. So I have this macro set up for a presentation. I'm going to step into it. Start writing function. Function introduces the function. And we're going to call this function, function general ledger. We can call it anything we want, pretty much. And then we need to enter a variable A. So then we're going to see. General ledger equals, and we're going to do a VLOOKUP formula. And VBA goes like this it's application period worksheet function. Now it's actually telling it to do a VLOOKUP. And we're going to use the same syntax, same four arguments. So it's A, that's our variable. That's going to be the vendor. B is going to be the range. Now, since the table is on a different tab than the main transactions, we have to spell out the exact tab. So it's worksheets, open parenthesis, quotation mark. This is the worksheet. Work. Uh, this is the tab's actual name. So I label the tab table. So I'm calling this table. It's referencing that one worksheet. Then I do dot, then these are the actual cells. So it's range, open parenthesis, open quotation mark, A1 through B17, 
close quotations, close parentheses, comma. We have to put in the column number. It's column number two. That's what the general ledger is. That's what it's going to return. And then for match, we either write true or false. False means it wants an exact match. True is approximate match. I prefer precision, so I go with false. And then we close the parentheses. And that's the function. And then we always end with end function. So the computer knows when to stop. So we're going to save this. We're going to get out of here. We're going to go into this column. We're going to hit equals general ledger. You see how that custom function popped up right there? Click on that. This is our input. Remember our variable A. Well, now it's cell B2. We'll close that. And outputs inventory. Inventory, inventory. Spread it down. So we look at staples, office supplies, office supplies. But let's go to the table. Find staples, it's office supplies. Federal Express is shipping test. Cable vision, internet. You can see how it's all spread. And uh, that's the end of this segment. Please tune in. I'll have more episodes soon, hopefully. So until next time, peace out.